This game is called Tomb Raider. This is called Portal. This is Arkham City. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> Kids these days are always on computers, always playing games. They can pick up any game, any system. Yeah, yes. slow motion finish. I love slow motion <laughs> finishes. They make you feel so good. And what about the generations before that? The ones of Pac-Man and before games even started? Why do the older generations stay away from the newer generation's tech? Put on the bottom. How do you drop it? Sit to the side. Okay. E to drop an object. Right. What do you think is the difference? between older games and newer games? Oh, interesting question. Um, I think the main difference is the simplicity of the games. Why would I be happy with a stick and a dot but fine on the screen? Yeah. It's a bit clunky this game, isn't it? If the game isn't realistic, I can't get into the game because I don't feel like it's real. I would like something that's way more realistic than something that was really not. Do you expect more from games now? You kind of get lost with all of them looking very pretty. The games we have these days are so complex and there are so many bits of in-game physics. Yeah, go. Oh, no. I don't think that everything has to be as complex as possible. The simplicity of old games was never their draw. I still think there's something about simple games that's really addictive. I don't think that complex games are necessarily better than simple games because they're complex. It's like you look at the games these days and they have, in an attempt to make them more interesting, more fun, they've made them more complex. I think you can still get a lot of pleasure out of the simpler mm -hmm. games. A lot of the games that are being sold on the App Store are like Candy Crush Saga, which are simple games, but they've been high selling games just because of the fact that they're simple and easy to play. There are still some really popular, fairly new 2D, 2D games out there, like that one like Minecraft, what is it called? Terraria or something? Oh, Terraria. You Terraria. just literally click which just one button. Like loads of our friends are into. Or and Super it's, Meat it's Boy, 2D. where you have two buttons. Yeah. But, I think even the simplistic games can still be enjoyed by kids that are used to mm. sort of graphics heavy mm. stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. The arrow keys. You hot press A, right. hold down A, you glide. Ooh. I hate it when I have it. I just press all the buttons. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> press Y. Why am I Y? Oh, oh my god. What was the first game you ever played? Either the very original Duke Nukem or Wolfenstein 3D. My first console was uh, a NES. Um, so obviously my first big console games would have been like Duck Hunt right. and Super Mario. And we used to play stuff like Doom and sort of, you know, all these sort of odd games. I remember playing the original Doom. I had no idea I was playing Doom at the time. I can't remember how I sat down and started playing it. No, my first game was Pokemon on the Game Boy. Oh, oh no, that We're was after. That, that was after, I think. This stuff was well old, yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely rubbish, isn't it? Uh, and you were lucky if the game actually loaded from tape. Uh, so you could actually spend a whole hour right. waiting for the cassette tape to load the game up, and more often than not, the game would then fail to load. Uh, but when it did load, you hadn't played it that much because it kept failing to load, that you actually never really got any good at the game. I seem to remember I was atrocious at Doom. I seem to remember I was awful at that game. Um, didn't really play it enough. Pac-Man. Space Invaders. There was Jack and Daxter. There was Ratchet and Clank. With things like Spy vs Spy. Spy on the other hand. 
awesome map. That was my thing. I can I remember completing that. Yeah, and they were very basic because it was literally just very flat 2D games. There was this bit with dinosaurs that ran behind you, and you had to yeah. run towards the camera. I have no idea with the buttons. I'm just going to keep pressing things until it works. Pac-Man. It is a good game, but it's just very much. It's very much the same. Yeah, it's repetitive. People don't want repetitive. They want different difference. Uh, very good for, for just short little times, you know, you, you kind of play them, but they don't get you as involved. The thing about games is they're built to be picked up, but they're built for a newer generation. One that understands where to find save on Microsoft Word. That was okay. Oh, we got halfway through. Children are at a learning stage when they're younger, and therefore they can pick up things much easier. That's why they're taught language in primary school, so their minds can open. Children these days are grown up holding a controller. They get to about the age of about six years old when they start playing like Call of Duty. They understand, because they've played games before, so they kind of understand how they can do it. It's just like how they're probably better at learning how to use a new camera, a new video recorder, because they're very similar to the things that they've used, and so they're used to it. There's so many kids' games made for them on the, like, mostly Nintendo stuff, so like the Skylanders games and the Disney Stuff. Anyone born or was at an age to play games prior to the 70s no. who didn't actually have those first consoles, yeah, yeah potentially there would, there would be a huge generation of those people that would find it alien. To monkey swing, jump straight over the bars and press and hold action, then push forward. They've grown up in an environment where they're not afraid to learn things by trial and error. And I still tend to pick up a manual and read it before I try to, you know, work a, a video recorder or something like that. Let's walk into the wall and then press them. Okay. And then mobile phone since an early age. I think I just learned to use a new mobile phone really easily and I just sort of take to it. I don't need a manual or anything. Whereas I think um, older generations it takes them longer. What is it telling me that it wants to put one of those in there? Yeah. So how do I pick it up? You don't. Well, I have to... No, take what's it hitting against? The... oh, um... a portal. Yeah. So... Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Do you like it when it doesn't tell you where to go? Yeah, well, we're following the minus numbers, I think you're right. Yeah. It's not terribly clear though. If you've come back to the game after you've been apart from it for a while. As I, yeah, yeah. as we have. You're like, what am I doing again? If you ever want me to tell you how to do it, just tell us. Yeah, you're going to have to tell me. But that, that would yeah, count as giving up. Alright. What's that? What's hit there? That's the light from the... This thing. So mm -hmm. I want it to come through here. Kids spend more time, are willing to spend more time learning how to play these games than adults. Adults have lots of other things to do and they're not willing to spend as much time. A, they have more time to just sit and figure it out. And B, an adult, you know that you, you know, if you're jumping, you know that you will jump this way or that way. Or, and you know in reality what you can do. Whereas children don't have that same reality. Jump it. That looks a bit far to jump. And see, if I do that and walk through, I'm going to fall down. You could jump it. Can I? Yeah. Do a longer jump. It's the game in physics mm -hmm. where they have to add something in which is not real. And I think Everything has to be under your control. Yeah, and I get, even I get annoyed with it sometimes because you think, that's ridiculous. You, that's, you know, I know it's a game, but still, if you're trying to make it realistic. At that age, everything is still possible. Right. Whereas by the time you become an adult, you know what's possible and you know what isn't possible. It's so realistic what they're seeing that they assume that all the in-game physics and stuff will be realistic as well, and they're not. All these different controls that 
I would have to use for use one thumb for turning your head, one thumb for looking up and down and all this. And there's an awful lot of learning how to, which buttons to press what and what to do and and actually just the coordination. Oh. And here we have the same problems I had before because I don't know where my feet are. Kids these days grow up using computers all the time. Like so in the current day, it's yeah, easier certainly. For them to Interacting get it. with a computer is first nature to them. Yeah, kids and young adults have an easier time with that, with just that coordination and learning about which all these different buttons make you know do different things. Oh, there it is. Can you see it? Oh God! Oh, no, you're gonna fail. There it is. Oh. Eight seconds. Oh God! I let that oh, away. Dear. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was literally with a second ago. I think it depends on the person as well, though. Yeah. I think that's the key with it. You've either got a technical understanding and want to be embracing the technology. I think you can start any time, any age, if you're willing. If you're willing and you've got a mind that's willing to explore. Do you think it'd be easier? Um, yeah, it'd definitely be easier because of the exposure. Yeah. I mean, obviously, students come into the course now that can do things that I think at that age, when I was that age, you know, I would, I would have no idea mm. how to do any of that stuff. The older generation, it takes them longer to get used to it. So they can have a mobile phone and they can understand how it works, but when they get to the next mobile phone, they'll need a manual again. They won't instinctively go, oh, I think it's probably this. By this theory, an adult would need more than just time to learn a new game. And if given a new aspect in a game, instead of picking it up quicker or learning it through trial and error, the adult would be confused and not solve the puzzle. Why? Do I want another one? Oh, I see. There's some manual dexterity stuff, but it's not that complicated. It's more the story and achieving the levels, and it's th a thinking game. Right. mainly. So that's, I prefer that as I said, that's something that I like to do. But if it's something where you have to think through a problem, how much it's, for me anyhow, it's much more interesting right. and I'll stick with it for longer. 